Hi, I'm Doug McKinley, and you're watching Adorama TV. For this video, we're going to look at some of the aspects of abstract in photography. Adorama TV presents Stay Focused with Doug McKinley. For today, we're going to look at the abstract that's all around us, both in man made structures and in nature. Like abstract art, abstract photography concentrates on shape and form, color, pattern, and texture. And like art, it can be interpreted in a wide variety of ways, often creating compositions that bear little or no resemblance to the object being photographed. Abstract photography. It doesn't convey any realistic depictions of the world. It's a break from reality, either wholly or partially. It's more emotional than intellectual. So let's break down a few fundamentals of abstract photography. Form. Form is the most important component of abstract photography. It's the shape of the object being photographed. It's the foundation of the whole picture. So to understand this, we need to train our eye to look at the form. Always ask yourself, is this an interesting shape? Will it make a good composition? This stairwell is a good example of form. Don't forget that we're trying to find an interesting aspect of subject, not necessarily the whole thing. So approach it from angles. Move your feet, bend your knees, look up, look down, get on a bench. Just really explore it from all angles. It's all about how you as a photographer perceive what is in front of you and then looking to represent it as you see it. Color. Color can be very emotional. Different colors can evoke different emotions. With color though, a key creative tool is how the contrast and saturation is used. Either with a single color or two or three colors juxtaposed next to each other. Line. The third key element of abstract photography is line. Lines help grab the attention of the viewer and lead them into the image. They help emphasize movement, making dynamic images. The lines can be straight or curved. It doesn't matter as long as they're doing the job of fixing the viewer's attention. Next up is selective focus and controlling depth of field. Focus on one element of the subject and let the rest blur out. This, of course, will be influenced by the f-stop chosen. So large apertures mean a narrow depth of field and more blur. So it's up to the photographer to choose the point of focus, coupled with an f-stop to create not only the correct amount of blur, but where it will start and where it will end. Of course, choosing to blur the image irrespective of the f-stop is also a creative choice and can make striking images. Panning and tilting the camera while on a tripod or using a slow shutter speed on moving subjects are just a few ideas. Next up is light and shadows. Strong abstract images will often have areas in the picture with good highlights balanced by areas of dark shadows. These kinds of images can be very powerful. Ironically, some of these pictures can be had when the sun is high in the sky, usually not the best time to shoot. But with great shadow potential, it just takes a little imagination and shoe leather to get some interesting snaps. As I said earlier, lines are a key component of abstract photography, but add some texture to the mix and the images become that much more interesting. Just remember that if highlighting texture is your goal, it's best to use subjects with more subdued colors, so as not to blow the texture out with strong light. Zoom in. Using a zoom lens as an abstract tool can be quite interesting. You need to mount it on a tripod to avoid any kind of camera shake, find a subject with strong central elements, and shoot with a slower shutter speed. How slow is a matter of experimentation. I find doing this technique at night in a city with lots of street lights can throw up some really interesting pictures. It just takes a lot of practice. Start with a wide angle of view and then zoom to the narrow one. It rarely works the first time, but after a few tries you'll get the hang of it. Just to finish up, there's a couple things I'd like to mention. First off, it's supposed to be fun, so get out there and practice, practice, practice. Abstract photography is a year-round thing. Every season produces its own unique set of subjects. Thanks for watching. I'm Doug McKinley for Adorama TV. You can subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos. You can like, comment, or share in this video, and please come by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.